Now to our special Your Town segment. This summer, we've been traveling to local towns to profile what makes them special. This week, we're focusing on Watkins Glen. Tonight, we visit a haven for farm animals desperate for a fresh start. The farm sanctuary is a place where farm animals can be rescued and then cared for properly. Our Justin Page met some of the more than 700 animals who call the sanctuary home. Located just 10 miles outside of downtown Watkins Glen sits a farm where animals are given a second chance at life. Susie Costin has been working with these animals at the farm sanctuary for 18 years. It's your aunt Susie. Hi. Right now, there are more than 700 animals roaming the 274-acre plot of land. Every animal has a name, and Costin knows them all. When they come in, you just learn who they are. The farm sanctuary is the first of its kind in the nation. It opened 32 years ago in response to undercover investigations into animal mistreatment at stockyards. Once rescues were made, the animals needed a place to go. They'll come in like almost dead, and then you see them like make these giant turnarounds, and they love you so much, and they turn into these happy, healthy animals that form bonds with each other and have a really great life. They come from all over, even as far as California, for a chance to be rehabilitated and treated with care, many of them for the first time in their lives. Anywhere that there's a big cruelty case, um, we went down to the floods in Iowa, and uh, tens of thousands of pigs actually died in those floods, and we ended up catching a, and taking care of the last 69 pigs in that group. So we get called in for larger rescues like that as well. The well-kept grounds are home to pigs, goats, chickens, and cows, among others. Others. Many live the rest of their lives here, but some are adopted out under certain circumstances. But we only adopt out to people who are not going to use them for breeding, for food, for... They, they need to be companion animals. I can't pitch a roll with this. Oh, look at you getting covered. And it's the most rewarding thing I've ever done. I can't imagine ever doing anything else. Costin says when the animals first come in, their trust in people is as low as it can be. But for some, it doesn't take long for their personalities to come out. I think once you know them, it's really hard to see them as anything but like, you know, like Woody the pig or they're, they're just amazing animals. And they love visitors. Guided tours leave every hour, Wednesday through Sunday. Reporting in Watkins Glen, I'm Justin Page. A really special place. Yeah, here's a funny story. We had our dog down at Cornell for some veterinary care not too long ago, and somebody came in with this big cage I thought was a cat or something. It turned out to be a wild turkey wow. from the farm sanctuary. No kidding. They needed a little veterinary attention, so. Amazing. They're doing great work out there. Big reach. Our coverage of Watkins Glen will continue throughout the week. Make sure to watch our special live Your Town broadcast starting Friday at 5 o'clock from Watkins Glen right here on NBC3.